the finish line. And with today's technology, the ability to see your results immediately. In fact, for events that have split nets on the course, it's possible for your friends and family to get instant updates of your progress as you continue on the course. How does this all work? At AR Event Productions, we view the term race timing as an umbrella term referring to three interconnected components. The first is timing, the second is scoring, and the third is results. Let's jump in and figure out what that all means. So timing is where it all begins. Timing is the collection of raw data. Specifically, when you're running in a race using transponder timing, or RFID, radio frequency identification, you might also hear the term tag timing, again, chip timing, anything, anything like that. It's referring to some kind of device, uh, a chip, as, as again, we often call it, that is on your bib, perhaps it's on your shoe, and when you run past some other kind of machine or device, it picks up the presence of that device. So, it, this can get very technical, but to keep it really basic, on the back of your bib, with, uh, we traditionally use ChronoTrack for our timing, on the back of your bib is a thin sticker. When your bib goes past the timing point, the system that reads it gets the bib number that you have, that's assigned to that tag, and records the time at which it was seen. That's all it is. So when you're running on a course, perhaps you run across something like this. Well, when you run across that, inside of that orange flap is one of these. This is an antenna. An antenna that is attached to a cable. And that cable is attached to a controller. And this controller is attached either via Ethernet cable or through the internet to our scoring computer. So, the first part again is timing, which is just the raw data, which is just going to be a bib and a time. The second part is scoring, and that's where it reaches our software. So, timing is the hardware, the physical devices that are going to get the information, and scoring is where the magic happens. That's going to be the calculations and the comparisons. So the first most basic calculation we have to do is how long did it take you to get somewhere? As a basic example, let's say you're running in a 10K and it takes you an hour. So you cross the start line at 10 o'clock, 0, 0, 0, 0, and you finish at exactly 11 a.m. on the dot. The calculation is your finish time minus your start. So 11 minus 10, that's going to be one hour. We will also calculate pace at that point. The next thing we're going to do are the comparisons. So we know your data specific to you. Well, how did you do compared to others? So typically results, of course, will show place. So at that point in the software, take everyone who's finished, sort them by time, and then assign a place. And that same process, in a very similar way, occurs for your age groups. So this time, take everyone in a particular age group, sort them by time, and determine your place in your age group. And then, of course, you might also see gender placing in the results. So what place were you for, you know, your particular gender? So those are our calculations and comparisons. And then the third and final part is outputting this information, the results, getting to see it. So the hardware captures the raw times, software does the calculations, and stores it in some kind of database, which is basically a glorified Excel spreadsheet with a little more to it. And then the results, whether it is to a physical sheet of paper that we print, or perhaps to a live, uh, to, a, to a mobile app, or simply to a website, it's putting the information there. And that front end of the results is what allows you perhaps to sort results on age group. Maybe you're just sorting by city. Are you the fastest person who lives on your block? Uh, sorting by age and, and, of course, other things like that. So with that said, uh, those are just some basics on race timing. And surely, if you'd love to learn more, head to areventproductions.com, where we dig more into the differences between gun and net time, and plenty of other nuances in race time.